Hello to my YouTube family. Welcome back to another Shopify tutorial. I am your host Faisal Mahmood and you guys are watching Faisal Products YouTube channel. So before starting this today's session, I would request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and give me thumbs up if you guys like my videos. And uh, let's start today's session. So in this session, I'm going to show you how you guys can add thumbnail slider into your Shopify store using Dawn theme or if, if any theme isn't having the slider for thumbnails, you how you guys can add this. So if you're supposed to use Dawn theme in Dawn theme, it is not available for featured product. So let me show you. Okay, this is a, okay. This is not the Dawn theme. Let me go to add the Dawn theme first. Okay, so the area of themes is visible now. I'm going to add a down theme, the fresh, fresh down theme. I'm going to add it. So it's being installed. It's installing. I will wait for one or two minutes. It used to take few seconds or few minutes to install. So. do it man okay so it has installed now i'm going to publish it okay okay it is published now now i'm going to customize and let's add a section for the featured product featured product this is the section I'm going to bring it to the very top. Okay, I'll click on this. I will select the feature for any random product I'm going to choose. These are very old products, but okay, we will just uh, supposed to learn. So for learning, it is good for us. Okay, I'm choosing this, I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to take the look on preview. And if I use to uh, copy this and search inside the search bar to know if this product is having more images, yeah, this product is having one more image. So currently I can see only the single image over there. So what I will do, I will go inside the coding area. I will click on edit code. And here I will use to find the featured product. It is loading, okay, featured product. So featured collection, there is featured product over there. Mm -hmm. So here you guys will, guys will see, this is the media gallery. Okay. Okay, so we have to hide this for further ado. So I'm going to comment, okay. And this is ending over there, and I am going to end comment. Okay, I'm going to save, and now you guys will not able to see the images over there anymore. Images are going to hide. Okay, so now I'm going to add my code. I'm going to add my code. Yes, this is the code I'm going to add over there. I will create a snippet like featured thumbnails. Sorry, thumbnails. Yes. I'm going to paste it. So I have just pasted it and now I will need to add these files. Okay. So I will provide you with these files. Uh, if you are not familiar like where I took that, this is the slick slider. You can take the links from their official website. Can we learn? Okay. I don't know why it is not working. 
10 wheeler okay i want slick slider source no go back slick demo yes so from here i will open it to the new tab view pay source okay and here i will see which files i needed i needed slick.css i will provide all of these files uh, on my website so you guys will be able to easily access these files but i'm going to show you how you guys can do it uh, from the website so here i need the slick.css first so this is the slick.css and here you guys can see all the css code i i pressed ctrl a to select all ctrl c to copy it and now i'm going to add asset i will put like a slick dot css extension right i will click on done and a new file has been created inside the assets i'm going to save it yes the file has been saved okay i'm going to close it and what happened over there i think everything just undo mm -hmm. okay no issue i will copy it again paste it again okay then i need slick theme dot css slick theme all code copy it and come back and here i will use slick theme dot css extension dot css okay i'm going to done paste it over there right and then i will go for command the slick feature thumbnails and then i click on latest jquery so i have to add the jquery so jquery cdm i will search for it there is a link for it and then i will click on minify it i will just open this link i will right click on it i will click on go where is the go okay no issue i will just right click again now i can see the code over there uh -huh, page is not fine oh, oh it is not showing me why it is not showing slim mm -hmm. okay sorry this is the link now it will show not showing okay so now you can see jquery is loaded i will control a and control c copy and uh, now i will paste it i will create a file name latest jquery.js so i will select js latest dash jquery i will save it okay and then i think i need to add the last file slick js okay so now i will go back to the source code this source i'll scroll down and here you guys will will find slick js slick.js here we go this is slick.js i will copy it and now i will add another asset last asset slick dot js right i'm going to add it so all the files are set up successfully now we are going to add this snippet into our future product so how we are going to do that let's get into this okay so we used to comment the product area but it is not showing like we have done it yeah we have done it here see and now i'm going to add this featured thumbnails snippet over there so i will use to uh, use the output tags then i will write render inverted commas feature thumbnails don't write dot liquid extension it will automatically pick that okay so that's it i'm just saving the file and now it has saved 
and let's refresh it's not showing okay let's see why it is not showing it Cannot read the property code mirror. Okay. Info grid container. Try to put include. Let's refresh. See, it's working now. But for some reasons, it's going out of grid. Container. Okay. Okay, so I have to put this inside the grid item. Div class grid item. And I'm going to close that div. And let's check again. nice so it's working very fine now as you guys can see it's working very fine so i hope it will solve all of your issues and uh, for further more uh, amendments i can guide you what you need to change and it will work fine so for this sorry future thumbs i will scroll down a bit just to let you know uh, what else you have to do so here you guys can see if you want to change uh, like uh, you want you don't want arrows you can false okay and if you want to show one slide in the nav the navigation area this you can change it to the one or you can control the responsiveness for this as well like if you want to show only two styles inside the mobile two inside the uh, tablet you can change the slides as per your need and if i use to hide the arrows now let me show you how it will show how it will be visible so you can't see arrows anymore okay but slide is working fine and if you want to show the arrows you can click on true you can write true and if you want to change the slides to show actually currently we are having only two images so it's not showing the third or fourth else it would be showing like there is next image over there after this there's next image so i hope it will help you a lot and and if you guys have any further queries or discussions to ask you guys can comment i would try my best to help you all as per your requirements so that is it for today i hope you guys will like today's session and uh, if you guys have any suggestion on the next tutorial on which topic you want it you guys can write in the comment and let me know don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep visiting and keep liking my videos and sharing it with your friends have a good day bye, -bye.